Hello guys, I am Nishi Malvi and I will be taking your advanced taxation paper. Okay. Uh, these lectures will be valid from June 24 to March 25 attempt. Okay. And we will be studying Financial Act 2023. <clears throat> so in taxation paper, uh, we, we always study the previous year taxation, uh, the previous year tax rules. Okay. Uh, and so the CR text rules will be examined examinable from the next attempt. Okay, so yes, let's start. Okay, so a little brief about myself. I am I provide advanced succession training. Okay, and apart from that, I am also an ISM certified mutual fund trainer. Okay, I have taken multiple batches in multiple colleges across India and I've also taken some corporate sessions in banks specifically I take corporate training sessions in banks okay uh, and the good part is my success rate of my batch is more than 90 percent like most of my students clear the exam so that's a good part and also I do have experience of more than three years okay so yes um so good thing is your yeah, advanced taxation is in good hands. Okay. So don't worry. Just practice. So yeah, let's start with the paper. Uh, before starting, uh, first thing we need to know how is going to be your paper. Like This is the paper pattern. Okay. Uh, your paper will be of total 100 marks. Uh, total there will be three sections. Okay. Section A, section B and section uh, section C. Section A will be of total 50 marks, only one question. And in section B, one question of 25 marks. Section C, one question of 25 marks. That's it. Okay. And in section A, 35 will be your technical marks. That's your actual ATX knowledge. So how your professional level exam, ATX test, whatever you study, whatever ATX is full of rules. Okay. So whatever rules you study, you need to know the application. So on uh, in this 35 marks, your ATX knowledge will be tested, okay? And this five marks are of ethics. Uh, there will be a compulsory question of ethics. There are some uh, a few uh, ethical you ethical you can say situations given, okay? Only a few there are uh, options. So you can go through that. And in case something comes out of that, then it's manageable, okay? So five easy, that is the easy mark. Five ethics marks is the easy one, okay? Five ethics. And 10 is the professional marks. So in professional marks, your communication, analysis, evaluation, skepticism, and the commercial acumen. These skills will be tested, okay? So in ATX exam, 100 marks is your total paper. 20 marks is professional and 80 marks is your technical, okay? And out of section B, <clears throat> 25 marks uh, total, okay? 20 marks will be your technical, same ATX knowledge. 5 marks will be your professional marks. And in section B, any two skills will be tested, okay? In section B or section C. Uh, in, in both of the, uh, both of the sections, uh, in professional marks, uh, professional skills are tested. Two in this are two in section C, okay? I mean two in B and, and two in section C, okay? So and that could be from analysis, uh, evaluation, professional skepticism, and commercial acumen, any two, okay? And the same in section C. Section B and C are the same, okay? Now in exam total, you will have uh, three hours and 15 minutes, okay? So if you check three hours and 15 minutes, which is uh, just a second, total is 195. Okay, I'll show you my Excel sheet. Okay, so your exam will be of total 19 to 3 plus 50. Sorry, 16 to 3, yeah. Total one, uh, 195 total exam time. 
total time okay so how i tell my students to uh, prepare for the exam is not to consider this uh, 15 minutes so actual exam is 3 hours 15 minutes 15 minutes right so for section a but you should consider while preparing for the exam i ask students to consider that consider it as a 3 uh, hours paper so 16 3 180 minutes right <clears throat> the reason i'll also tell you we'll do paper practice enough practice so that you like complete your paper uh, in 180 minutes okay the reason is uh, first section a can be completed in 15 to 1.8 okay divide by 100 okay 1.8 minute you will have okay so this 90 minutes section a section a this 90 minutes also includes your reading time so i know many uh, my uh, many students might go in this way that professional skills are not you don't have to write anything it's just that professional in for professional skills you have to write your paper in a professional manner your paper should look like uh, some uh, text advisor have given the advice okay text manager senior manager okay so you won't be students you have to write your paper in a professional manner so some uh, some friends do like this like 195 divide by 80 do you think you have a lot of time 2.4 and 15 to 2.4 if you see that it's 121 minutes okay so you shouldn't consider like that instead i advise students to go like this 90 minutes which is 1.5 hr for section a and section b section b section One point eight into twenty five. Okay. So, in my class, I'll make sure that you practice, and whenever you are writing papers, you write, complete your papers in one eighty minutes. The logic behind is that, uh, in actual exam, what happens? Even though you are doing really fast, but it takes extra time. Okay. because in actual exam the question will be completely unknown to you so if you have done enough practice to complete your exam before time then in case in exam any question comes up where you have to think extra like there there is going to be some tricky questions okay so in which you will have to think extra that might take extra time okay so if you have already done practice it will be easy for you and one more thing the system if some this is for someone who will opt for a uh, computer based exam so the system will be different okay and the if you are practicing in the same system daily you are familiar familiar with that so the system will also be different that's why i ask uh, ask students to consider 180 minutes and try to complete the paper in that okay all right mm, that's it uh now that's it about the paper pattern okay and the time okay so what will be your course content your course will include income tax okay uh personal income tax which will also include a uh, property income Uh, property income, uh, rental income, whatever rental income a person earns on the his his or her property that okay, pension and investment income, uh, whatever return they get on investment of pension that okay, and the next is employment income, employment income in case a uh, person is employed whatever the salary they earn apart from salary many people also get some extra benefits. Like they get car for usage, okay. Some people might also get a home for living, right? Uh, rental expenses are paid by the company, laptop, etc. Petrol allowance, everything. 
so we'll study in depth what all allowance and how they and those allowances are taxed uh, uh, how uh, the taxes charge on those allowance okay so the trading income next is the trading income so trading income will have uh, whatever uh, if a person is uh, doing his or her own business whatever income how that will be taxed what are the benefits what are the you know reliefs available all those we'll discuss tax for trust so there are some trust formed by person okay so uh, tax on that capital gain tax capital capital gain tax cgt so in cgt we will study whatever gain you get okay on sell of any property uh, how that gain is taxable okay that gain are of in the homeland in the home country and in the foreign country okay so we'll study both and the next is inheritance tax so this inheritance tax is uh, whenever you get something from uh, any uh, some some property from anyone and some gifts from anyone so how these gifts are uh, gifts are taxable we'll study that okay uh, overseas income tax and capital gain tax so what i told you uh, in the foreign the foreign land or foreign country whatever your capital gain is cgt is and whatever your income is you will study how these are taxable okay and then next part is corporation tax so corporation tax is taxation for the companies for the uh, taxation rules for the companies okay so this will include loss relief group companies overseas companies etc will study will see in the chapter okay and the next is vat value added tax and the last part is ethics and also one more thing professional skills i'll do towards the end of the uh, class okay uh, i mean towards the end of all the uh, lectures are okay we'll do professional uh, skills okay and i'll also do past papers in that i'll show how right answer how you have to write the answer what are the wordings you have to pay attention how can you show the calculation all those okay now if i say the marks okay so corporation tax can be of 30% 20 30 40 uh, okay and this will be of 40 50 okay 40 50 you can expect and the vat will be 10% and 10% ethics okay 10% uh, and 10% this is just a roughly Uh, estimate you cannot uh, take it like you if you are someone who is will be trying to prepare that if i'm if suppose someone is weak at corporation tax and 40 50 area covers this and 10% vat so if someone tries to be extra smart and only prepare uh, prepare the personal tax part and vat so don't expect that you will clear the exam because acc wants you to be good at every area okay uh, so don't skip don't think like that the paper might be different as well so what i told is uh, after checking the past paper okay so yeah that's it so how will be your study pattern how are we going to study so i know most of you guys are from the exemption route okay you guys uh those who, and those who are not it's fine it's good for you and those who are from exemption you too don't worry we'll study uh taxation from basic i mean from basic tax knowledge to advanced taxation knowledge i will cover everything okay and the next part is exam kit question so my study pattern is after completion of any topic uh i do exam kit questions so your that topic gets clear in your head okay and after that i'll also give you some homework which you have to do compulsorily you don't have any option and past paper practice so we'll do past paper in class and uh mock feedback okay uh, sorry sorry and yes i'll also give you uh, three mock feedback okay how like if you uh, whatever mock you are doing how you have to improve in everything okay and this past paper practice i'll also show you again explain you the time strategy 
how you can uh, apply the time strategy. In ATX exam, I've seen most of students cannot complete their full ATX paper. And the main, uh, everyone, like most of them tells that ATX paper is lengthy. Yes, it is lengthy. The thing is, you have to write point to point. Whatever is asked, you have to write only that. You don't have to, uh, you know, elaborate your answer unnecessarily because that will waste your time. And there's also a time uh, paper writing strategy which will ensure that you complete maximum of your paper. Okay. Uh, right. Let's start. So I'll follow the study text pattern. Okay. Don't worry. I'll, I won't ask you to uh, read the whole study text. We'll cover most of things. But uh, I find that uh, some of the topics you will need to just uh, a little bit go through study text for a while. Okay. Uh, just uh, some little topics. All right. The first is uh, income, income tax computation. Uh, 16th chapter. If you refer study text, you can go on the 16th chapter and have a look, okay? Uh, it's okay if you don't read. Again, I'm repeating. It's okay if you don't read. I'll try to cover each and everything in the class itself, okay? And we'll study this individual incomes, how the individual incomes are tested, okay? First thing, uh, in individual income, uh, the taxation goes like a non-saving income, saving income, and dividend income, okay? There are different tax rates for all three. We'll see in in, in the next slide, maybe. Uh, yes, in the next slide itself. So what are the uh, non-saving income, saving income, and dividend income, okay? So the, uh, this tax rate band will be given to you in exam in separate, you know, tax rate formula. This will be given in the exam. Uh, but it's better to remember because you will be solving some. Okay, so just have a look at this. Um, basic rate band. So basic rate band is from zero, from zero to up till thirty-seven thousand seven hundred pounds. That is considered as a basic rate band. So non-saving tax rate is twenty percent. Saving tax rate is twenty percent same. And the dividend rate is eight point seventy-five percent. This is less as compared to uh, saving and non-savings, uh, saving and non-savings, okay? And from 37,700 to uh, 1,25,140 pounds, it is considered as a higher rate band. And the tax rate will be uh, 40, 40, uh, 40 saving, uh, 40 non-saving, and 33.75 will be your dividend. Above, if a person has income above 1,25,141 from uh, this, okay, this will be as text as uh, additional rate band, okay? So, <clears throat> okay, uh, example, if someone is having income after adjusting all the release, if someone has income of like more than, uh, suppose income is of, 50,000, okay? So, out of 50,000, after adjusting the allowance, we'll study, we'll see what are the allowance are. The, I'm deducting 37,700. So, the remaining is 12,300, okay? So, out of 50,000, 37,700 will be taxed as a basic rate band. And the next will be taxed as a uh, higher rate band. So, the remaining uh, 12,000 300 will be taxed as a higher rate band, okay? I hope you understand. Uh, you understood. And the thing is, uh, if it is, above, if, if the tax is 150,000, so just a second, I think it's better. Hold on. So, yes, explanation. Okay. 
All right. Uh, assumption, assume, uh, sorry, income. I six one like fifty thousand. One good thing I will tell you guys. Uh, I'll show many more shortcuts to save your time in exam. Okay, because you should know to save your time, and especially for those who are opting for computer based exam. The system is different, and it will take some time. For pounds, this is a trick. Press your Alter key on left side and Alter one. Five six, you'll get your pound sign. So no need to copy and paste from anywhere and do this. Okay. So yeah. Uh, so this is the income. So uh, for the taxation purpose, uh, if you see, this is the higher rate band. Okay. The basic rate band, basic rate band, uh, higher rate band. This is additional rate. Band, yeah. A higher rate band, and the Additional rate. Okay. Mm. Yes, the tax rates. Okay, this income is non saving income or saving income, uh, consider non saving. <clears throat> so twenty percent, forty percent, forty. 45% up till uh, 37 double zero. This will be a tax, okay? Up till 37,700, this will be taxed as a basic rate plan. After that, up till uh, the limit is 125,140. See this, the tax rate man. First class, it is not possible for you guys to remember, right? So how will we do this? Minus the earlier tax amount, okay? We'll get the difference, multiply 0 0.4, which is 40%, right? And the remaining is, total is 1,50,000 pounds. This is the remaining, and this will be taxed at 45 percent. Uh, 45 okay. So the, this will be your tax payable. I hope you got it. Okay. So yes, this is how you will calculate your tax as per the rates. Okay. Next is, I told you, we'll see personal allowance. So personal allowance is one, uh, 12,570 per year per person, okay? Total income. And this personal allowance will be deducted from your total income, not your individual income. If a person is having in, uh, employment income, trading income, some people do have uh, jobs and uh, startups, or etc. whatever the case is, okay? All together. So... Yeah, so 125700 will be your uh, personal allowance and this will be text uh, you'll get on your um, income. Yeah, so my both screens are visible. So let's suppose uh, this was not the, uh, this was before adjusting the personal allowance. So total income, I'm considering 150,000 minus 12570, sorry. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, all right. We did text year start from uh, 6th April. Actually, it starts from 6th April to 5th April. But to make it easy and to round it off, uh, taxation uh, department, HMRC, for London, for UK, it is HMRC. Her Majesty, uh, yeah, something... Just a second. Yeah, Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. I'm so sorry, I just completely got off my mind.
okay so the text year will start from 6th april to 5th april but uh, it will be considered from 1st april to 31st march okay now uh, we saw what uh, okay we didn't see. whatever include what are the things whatever what are the type of income which are included in non saving incomes which first is employment income trading income property income pension income reit income real estate investment trust okay reit is real estate investment trust and the trust income whatever trust are form uh, we'll study what is trust okay in detail and in saving income it is interest income interest income is taxed as uh, saving income so if the saving income falls under fica so this is the additional band uh, additional zero rate band available if the saving in, uh, income falls under 5000 then 0% will apply on this okay uh, for example uh, if there is no uh, no total uh, no sa uh, non saving income if there is not any non saving income so 5000 will be taxed at 0% i am considering the total rate band okay so 5000 will be at 0% and there are some additional zero rate band so this zero rate band is no tax 0% tax on that okay and the additional nil rate band nrb is nil rate band for saving income is for basic rate band uh whatever your saving income is if it is in the basic rate band you, you will get 1000 uh you have, sorry you have to consider the total income if your total income after adjusting the allowance you get adjusting this personal allowance you get falls under the basic rate band then for the saving income you will get uh 1000 as zero rate band okay 1000 pounds and for the higher rate band you will get 500 and for the additional rate band if your income is in uh, falling under the additional rate band okay you will have 0% uh, uh, zero amount falling under zero rate band okay you will not get any other allowance okay and for dividend 1000 is by default zero rate band nil rate band and rb or zero rate band okay so whatever your band is whatever your total income whatever you wherever your total income falling you don't have to pay uh, tax on initial 1000 of the nil rate uh, of the dividend income okay and these nil rate bands also includes uh, uh, also covers the bands i will we'll, i'll show in this sum in a question we'll do this question okay uh no let's do this question because this question has a lot of more examples i've taken this from your test your understanding too. this is your test your understanding okay so yeah let's start mm. okay okay so you can follow this format i found it easy non saving income non saving income saving income and dividend income total income okay and this is for the tax year 23 24 uh property income property income is 40000 40000 okay property income is your non saving right yes property income is your non saving and bank interest is your saving income so 2000 okay 
and dividend income dividend dividend income one Okay, so this is your total income. Total income. What is the personal allowance uh, you get per year? Going on the back, uh, previous slide. 12570, okay. So minus 12570. I'll direct from the saving income first. Okay, you, okay. So first priority when you get this uh, one to uh, personal allowance, when you have the personal allowance, will should be your non-saving income. The reason is, on the non-saving income, there is more tax. So for the saving income, if you see, for the saving income, there are some benefits, okay? So if, uh, but for the non-saving income, there's no another benefit included, no other benefits, okay? So that's why uh, you'll go give the first priority to non-saving and then saving and the least priority to dividend income because the tax rate for the dividend income is less. Okay. All right. So you will get your taxable. taxable income. And this will be your personal allowance. See, how am I doing? I am making sure that I'm making proper formatting. Okay. This is where your personal, uh, sorry, professional marks are tested. From day one, if you practice in such a way, in a professional manner, okay. So by the time you are sitting for your exam, you will by default start working in professional way. Okay. So now let's see the text. Okay. For your reference, I'll open the text range. Okay. This will be your taxable income. Okay. So for the non-saving income, non-saving income. Band is available 37700. But this non-saving income, 20% uh, rate, right? Okay, sorry, In on your ACC platform, plus doesn't work. You have to do equals to, and yes, yes. X rate, X. And this will be your um, income. And then saving income. Okay. One thing about saving income, uh, we just did, but see how will I apply this? In which band the total income is falling after deducting the personal allowance? Is it falling in basic rate band or high rate? See the band rate. High rate band, right? Exceeding the basic rate band, which means falling the high rate band. So are we? Okay, so if there is higher rate band available, uh, what will be the nil rate band available for saving income? 500? NRV? 500? Okay. And this will be 0% only. Okay, one more thing. Out of 37700, how much income we have already included? 97700. So we, it means uh, we have 97700 available 
for a basic rate band okay saving income basic rate band, 20% how i'll show the calculation again so the uh, nil rate band available is 37700 okay 37700 min uh, minus this non saving income why non saving income we are uh, deducting because this has also include this has covered taken up the band right the first uh, nil rate uh, sorry the basic rate band okay and as per this rule this and that we will reduce the bands which means even if this is the nil rate band this is at the nil rate band but still it will take the band means 500 will be deducted and the another left 500 will be taxed at higher rate band okay 97700 control d okay now saving income hrb what is your saving income 277 sorry this is not your saving income your saving income is 2000 okay okay so this is not uh, this income is not total income is not falling under 5000 that's why you won't get your uh, benefit okay 27 uh, minus this 500 okay we did a mistake we considered non saving as a saving income so you have to while doing paper you make sure that you don't do this mistake okay uh, okay so the remaining 1500 will be taxed as saving rate okay okay this will be and for the dividend rate band so this is a yeah and this is the rate hmm Dividend income. So for the dividend income, one thousand pound is for nil rate man, right? I'll write and I'll go here. So you'll have zero tax on this, and the remaining dividend income. Three seven seven double zero minus whatever the whatever the tax we did minus seven two seven zero will be your basic rate band. So what is the rate for basic rate band? Twenty percent? Huh? No, wrong. Ah, uh, it is eight point seven five. Yes, seven five percent. Okay. And dividend. Okay, which is two two three double ah two two ah two thousand two hundred thirty. Higher rate band is higher rate is. Okay, control D. So this will be your actual tax. Tax land. Okay. All right. So we have done one question. Now I will give you a homework. Right. uh my homework if you try on your own then you will get better idea right that's right. just a second uh okay so you have to do your test your understanding one okay this p 516 you have to deduct Towards the end, from the your whatever your tax liabilities, you have to deduct this. Okay, ah, uh, you'll do your test your understanding one, and make sure you don't copy from your answers from the answers given. Okay, if you copy, then you won't learn from your mistakes. That's why. Okay, so yes, that's it. Ah, uh, see you guys in the next lecture. Bye bye.